The Panther's hull and armor were heavily influenced by the T-34, incorporating sloped armor for increased protection. However, MAN designers made modifications to increase internal space, including an extended engine compartment with a rear inverted slope. Hull armor evolution, frontal glossies, Ausführung D, 60 millimeter upper plate, 50 millimeter lower plate, 90 millimeter effective armor. Upgraded Hitler's order, 80 millimeter upper, 60 millimeter lower, 120 millimeter effective armor. Side armor, 40 millimeter thick, later 50 millimeters at a 60 degree angle, LSF. G, rear armor, 40 millimeters, sloped at 60 degrees. Shirts and 5 millimeter side skirts were introduced for additional flank protection. Turret armor and weaknesses. The Rhine metal Borsig turret was spacious and sloped, with armor increasing over versions. ERASF, A, Zaz T's millimeter front. ASF, G, 100 millimeters front at 80 degrees. Gun mantlet, 120 millimeter cast armor, later modified with a chin design to prevent shot traps. Challenge and adjustments. Early face-hardened armor was abandoned in March 1943 due to the rise of armor-piercing capped shells. The turret sides remained vulnerable, prompting the study of the Schmalturm turret. Zimmerit anti-magnetic pace was applied, but discontinued in September 1944 over fire concerns. By late war, shortages of molybdenum in other alloys caused armor brittleness, making late-model Panthers prone to cracking when hit.